Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and today we're going to be doing the copycat recipes of McDonald's cheeseburger line. The single, the McDouble, and the triple. Other than the quarter pounders and the double quarter pounders, dehydrated onions plays a vital role in that signature McDonald's flavor. All you have to do is get some onions into a container, pour some water over it, and in a couple hours you have rehydrated onions. It's super simple and you won't shed any tears. For our copycat recipe, we're gonna be weighing out our beef to about 60 grams. I believe McDonald's only does 45 grams, which is about an ounce and a half, but we're going two ounce patties. I ended up making six patties total because we're gonna need six patties for all three burgers. Using a smasher between parchment paper is the easiest way to flatten your burger patties. You want them nice and thin. And as usual, all the ingredients will be linked in the description box down below. We have our beef, I have some boar's head American cheese here, rehydrated onions, mustard, ketchup, plain white hamburger buns, and pickles. Most of us have these ingredients in our pantry or refrigerator. Anyways, the only thing you need, like I said, is the dehydrated onions. Start off first by toasting our buns. We're gonna do this without any fat. Now, in order to tell if your buns are toasted, you wanna to touch it. If it's nice and warm and soft, that means it's nice and toasted, just like so, and you're ready to go. Once the buns are ready, I'm gonna put them onto a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. It's gonna make it a lot easier to dress our burgers when it's time. Those are some nice looking buns. Now it's time to cook our meat onto a hot flat top or in a pan, put all your burger patties on there. And this is not gonna take very long because it's so thin. Now just season this with salt and pepper. Very simple, nothing complicated. This takes about a minute and a half, two minutes on each side. While the all American beef patties are sizzling away on the flat top, we're going to dress our buns. Now we're only using a little bit of mustard and ketchup and topping this with our rehydrated onions along with pickles. And since you're making these burgers, you can go and add as much mustard, ketchup, onions, or pickles as you want. If you don't want anything in there, just leave it plain. All right, and after about two minutes, our burgers are done on one side. We're gonna give them a flip. This is already looking a lot better than McDonald's, which is obvious because we're making this at home, but it's worth mentioning. All right, so now we're going to dress our burger patties with some of this boar's head American cheese. This is going to be for our double. This is going to be our triple, which gets another slice of cheese as well as a third patty. And now it's time to put our burgers together. This is going to be for the single cheeseburger. This is our copycat McDouble. And this is our copycat triple cheeseburger. Now let's put the tops on them and compare them with actual McDonald's burgers. And here are our burgers with the McDonald's competition in the back. All right, let's dig in and compare. Now, I don't normally do these kind of videos, but you know, I have been going through a pretty rough time the last couple weeks. So I just wanted to do something kind of fun and lighthearted. Um, it is me versus McDonald's. All right, so obviously, you know, there are videos out there that are like, I can make a McDonald's burger, but better. Well, I hope you can make a better burger. I mean, all you really need is just fresh ground beef and a bun, and you're already better than McDonald's. But, you know, I'm not trying to diss anybody out there, but, so what we have here is, oh, let me turn this around, because these are the McDonald's contenders. I have your classic cheeseburger, which I took out of the wrapper, the uh, McDouble, Right, and then the triple cheeseburger. All right, so these are the McDonald's ones. And then, as you saw me cooking already, this is my single cheeseburger. And then my McDouble copycat, and then my triple cheeseburger, All right? So you can already tell that these already look better than McDonald's. They smell better than McDonald's. But anyways, enough talking. Let's try the McDonald's cheeseburger. Yep. The um the dehydrated onions, that's the classic McDonald's. So let's try my burger. 
still with the dehydrated onions and all that stuff. Virtually the same. Now, if McDonald's were to use fresh meat instead of frozen, this is what it would taste like. That's really good. Hmm. Now on to the next, the McDouble, right? Same ingredients, mustard, ketchup, pickle, dehydrated onion, right? Oh, let's get this clear. Uh, there you go. All right, guys. So let's go into here and Nope. You taste right away. This is obviously the um, the really weird American cheese. Really plasticky, horse head American cheese. So it has a similar flavor, but it's a little better quality. It doesn't taste like plastic, right? And then here's my, here's my McDouble. Mmm. Mmm. Way better. Way better. All right, so moving on to the next. The McDonald's Triple Cheeseburger. Now, to be honest, this is my favorite McDonald's burger, the Triple Cheeseburger. It's got the perfect ratio of meat, cheese to bun. I mean, for McDonald's standards, I mean, these patties are like super small, super tiny. But, here we go. Mm hmm Plastic McDonald's flavor. Now let's try mine. You go. Yeah, even the meat looks, obviously. So here's my burger meat. Here's their burger meat. Let's see. Brown. Gray. Brown. <laughs> Gray. All right, but at the same time, you know, we're not going to McDonald's for high quality burger. But here we go. Here is my copycat version of a McDonald's triple cheeseburger. Mmm. Yeah. Juicy. Mmm. Mmm. That's, <laughs> that's enough burger. Sorry, I had to use my plastic wrap box for a table to elevate. But I've seen a lot of uh, McDonald's copycat burgers or copycat cheeseburgers and copycat um, uh, McDou McDoubles and Big Macs, and they all do the same mistake. They all use fresh onions instead of the dehydrated onions. And the thing is, if you're gonna call yourself a copycat, you gotta copy it. Um, yeah, with the dehydrated onions, just like here, here's the uh, McDonald's one again. You, know, you have the, you know, patty, cheese, mustard, ketchup, pickles, dehydrated onions. And then here's mine, same thing. But obviously, th in this case, this is a truly copycat McDonald's, but better. All right, you can't make a... Uh, you know, you can't make a gourmet burger and put it up against a McDonald's cheeseburger and say like, oh, my burger's better. Well, I freaking hope it is. You know, like I said earlier, I really hope you can make a better burger than McDonald's. Mean versus McDonald's. I think I should open a chain called McDonald's. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, McDonald's is always going to have a, a nostalgic place in my heart uh, just because growing up, in, in the Midwest, you know, we didn't have in and out I don't think Shake Shack was, e Shake Shack wasn't even a thing. Um, all the five guys was not in Minnesota where I was from. A McDonald's cheeseburger will always be, you know, one of my favorite burgers, not because it's super delicious, but because all the memories that come flooding back when eating it. Uh, save yourself 
the fancy burger bun if you're going to do this just do a cheap white burger bun um i've tried this before with brioche and the brioche just kind of overtakes everything all right guys i had a lot of fun making this video like i said it's not something that i normally do um like fast food stuff but you know i just wanted something a little bit lighthearted, and you know hopefully you guys all have the same sentiment as Mc, uh, about mcdonald's as me you know it's a nostalgic factor you know every once in a while we stop in and for whatever reason you know it satisfies that craving that we have for it all right guys thank you so much i had a lot of fun take care of yourselves and as always peace